Installing a pop-up drain stopper is actually pretty easy. And you typically do it when you're installing a new sink or if you just wanna swap out the stopper. Now, just to be clear, installing a stopper is not just this little thing right here. Actually, it's this entire drain mechanism down below. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to start by taking this decorative ring, or it's a drain flange, and I'll grab some plumber's putty. I'm just going to place that around here. And I'll take this decorative ring and place it right on top here. I'll grab my tailpipe, and what I'm going to do is go under the sink and screw it into this decorative ring. The next thing I want to do is tighten this nut here. And I don't want to make it too tight. I don't want to damage anything, but I do want it snug so there's a nice seal and there's no leaking. Now I'm going to take my stopper, drop it into the sink, and make sure my loop is facing the back of the sink. Up next, I'm going to install my pivot rod. I'm going to loosen up this right back here so I can take it off. The tricky part with this is you want to make sure that when you put this pivot rod in the hole at the back, you want to make sure that this goes through the loop of the stopper. So I can't see it, so I'm, I'm going to feel for it. Before I screw anything on, I'm going to check. Hop up and see. And when I move this pivot rod up and down, here we go. OK, cool. Back down. Now I'm going to grab my screw and then screw that on. Now I'm going to push this handle rod down the back of the faucet, down the hole, and then push the pivot rod down so the stopper is in the open position. All right, so now I'm feeding the handle rod through the clevis hole with a goal of lining it up with one of these lower clevis holes down here. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that in place. Perfect. And now I'm ready to attach my clevis strap. I'm gonna slide the strap on in this way, push the pivot rod through the hole, and then loop this strap in the back, push it up to create that tension in the spring. The final step is to connect this P-trap to the tailpipe. So I'll connect it to the tailpipe first. Now I'm going to run the water to check for leaks. I like it. Now, let's see if the stopper works. That sink is filling up. Looks like a job well done.